Hello, peoples of the tube. It seems nowadays that with every new series of Doctor Who, we have to wait longer and longer and longer for the next one. And it, it makes sense that we, we, it seems like we do. It used to be every single year regularly in the spring we get a new series and then they started taking occasional years out here and there or splitting the series across two years and then now every series we have a year and a half till the next one. Um, yeah, that is true. But if you look at the numbers, we're not actually getting that much less Doctor Who than we've been getting pretty much the whole time. Um, that's a very structurally unsound statement. Let me, let me clarify what I'm talking about. Today we're going to look at some numbers. Some Doctor Who numbers. Doctor Who numbers! That was lovely. So, for the purposes of this video, I'm going to break down the last 15 years into five three-year chunks. So we've got chunk one, 2005, 2006, 2007. Chunk two... 2008, 2009, 2010. Chunk 3, 2011, 2012, 2013. Chunk 4, 2014, 2015, 2016. And Chunk 5, 2017, 2018, 2019. Five chunks, each three years. So, the first chunk is admittedly the best chunk in terms of how much Doctor Who we get. Because 2005, Series 1. 2006, Series 2. 2007, Series 3. And all at the same time of year, lovely Christmas special in between, three years, three series. It's the only time that's ever happened in the entire history of the new series. Obviously, the classic series was a series every year, pretty much continually. But let's not worry about that. Let's move that aside and look at Chunk 2. 2008, we had Series 4. 2010, we had Series 5. In between... We had a few specials, but no series, no new series, three years, two series. So let's move that chunk aside. Chunk three, 2011, we had series six, it was split in half, we had half in the spring, half in the autumn, but one year with one series in it. Then 2007 was split across 2012 and 2013, we had half in late 2012, we had half in early 2013, and then we had the the other Doctor later in, in 2013. So that was one series over two years. Over that three year chunk, two series. Six and seven in that chunk. So let's move that aside. Chunk, what we're on now, four. Chunk four. 2014, we had series eight. 2015, we had series nine. 2016, we had nothing. We had a Christmas special at the end of the year. Apart from that, nothing. Well, we had class. So, worse than nothing. Um, yeah. Three year chunk. Two series in three years. So, here, now we're in the current chunk. 2017, we finally got series 10. 2018, after what felt like a really long wait, series 11. 2019 is now nothing. Nothing this year. We got January the first, we had an episode. That's it. And I know I am simplifying that a bit too much, because obviously in 2008 we did get an extra two specials, plus the Christmas special was double length. And then in 2013, when we only had the remaining episodes from the previous year's series, we did get an extra one special, which is less than the previous time, but more than the next time in 2016, when we got nothing extra. And again this year, when we got just nothing. In fact, last year's Christmas special shared across this year, Plus, Peter Capaldi's series went down to 12 instead of 13. Jodie Whittaker's series would now lost an extra two episodes. We are getting less Doctor Who, but not as much less as these lengthy, lengthy gaps make it feel like. I know, you know, we had series 10 was in early 2017, and then we had to wait until the summer we found out who the new Doctor was, and then a year later, after finding out who the new Doctor was, we still hadn't had an episode with her. We had to wait until autumn... So, yeah, I, I get it. it it's, it is all, the waits are more consistently long, but the actual timing, the pacing of the, how, how often they come out, is actually, it's about the same. We, we, we're, we're not losing really whole series from what we were getting. 
it would be lovely if we could have a series per year. That would be wonderful, but I I don't think it's going to happen. I think I think that's hopefully we won't get less. If we start getting a chunk of three where there's less than two series in three years, then for sure we need to be like, hey, this isn't this isn't great. But from what I would I, I'm going to guess. Here's my prediction for the next three years of Doctor Who. We know that we're getting series twelve next year, which is 2020, which is the start of chunk six. 2021 and 2022, I reckon between those two years we will have series 13, and that's about it. That's about it, really. Um, beyond that chunk, who knows? But yeah, I just, thought I'd, I just thought I'd bring that up, because it does feel like we're getting the series further and further apart, but at the moment, really we're not. So that's some weird number thingying. I hope I've not distorted the numbers in such a way that I'm telling a mistruth. But I, I, as far as I can really comprehend this, that's how much Doctor Who we're getting. I hope you've enjoyed this delve into numbers. Join me next time when I won't be talking about numbers. What's my next video going to be? I don't know. But until then, thanks for watching and have a nice day. I tried really, really hard to keep this like under seven minutes because I, I ramble. I tend to ramble a lot. Did I keep it under seven minutes? I don't know. Did I? Bye. Traffic on the hour.